Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now this video, I'm going to feature to show you actually three types of material I have here. It's actually called the nature of material. Um, here with me on the left, I have metallic metal. On the right, we have insulator. Well, I'm, I'm pretty sure by now that you know the difference between a conductor and an insulator. Now how do you tell? If it's conduct electricity, okay. Now I have here a digital multimeter, the probe. When something conduct, if I touch on it, I hope you hear the beep sound, meaning it conduct electricity. Okay. Okay. I do not conduct electricity. If I sweat, perhaps you will see certain amount of conductivity. But how do you tell if it conduct electricity? I use a tool they call DMM, digital multimeter. So, say for example, here I have a copper wire, copper wire, wire clip, copper wire, one end positive, one end negative. I clip onto it, therefore, you hear the continuity, I mean the beep sound. Okay? Now, let me put this away. Metallic, say for example, the material here. Is actually an L bracket. It's made of metal, so shining surface. One of the characteristic physical characteristics is shining surface. Then you should conduct electricity because when you look at it, the shining surface, then you say, oh yeah, it must be metallic. Yes, you conduct electricity. Either surface. Okay. Okay. Yes. So for anything that's shiny. You have some idea that oh it's shiny then it should be metallic right how about I put it aside what I have here is actually one of those uh, aluminium bar I mean you call it U channel perhaps half an inch <clears throat> U channel now it's shiny surface it's aluminium then it should conduct electricity but you put it on a DMM it doesn't conduct a test again yes Nothing wrong with my DMM, but the it doesn't conduct. So the, the physical appearance, shining surface, is not necessarily is a tell sign if it is conductor. But what happens if I put it at the edge? It conducts electricity because in reality, aluminium is metallic. This end is being cut off, whereas the surface. The process, the extruding, I mean the process of making this uh, extrusion, uh, protruding, prostitution process to make this channel, the cooling up process, the aluminium react with oxygen, therefore aluminium oxide making it an insulator, it doesn't conduct electricity. Okay, this is what happened, right? So aluminium oxide shining surface, it doesn't conduct electricity, but when a pure aluminium, yeah, it conducts electricity, okay? Not this end, because this end is where being made, the cut end, the end is being cut off, conduct electricity. So, it's quite obvious, general terms of rule, those material when in the uh, periodic table from group 1, group 2, group 13, it will be quite safe to say they are metallic. Okay? How about over the right? Okay? Let's we have rubber. Rubber mat I have. Rubber, it's an insulator. It's not always true, but it's quite well, it's quite acknowledged, quite well acknowledged that a rubber is an insulator. Because if your current is high enough or your potential difference is high, Electricity would still pass through it, yeah, but it's quite well known. Rubble should be insulator. The same go with a piece of wood. Okay, a wood cellulose. A wood is actually insulator. Okay, now what happened in between metallic and insulator? In between them, they call something semiconductor. Semiconductor, for example, group fourteen. Uh -oh. Another way, 
actually group 14 is actually a semiconductor it's between conductor and insulator so what about this group 14 what's this it looks like a shiny surface a piece of rock very nice it's not a gem it's a piece of rock it's actually a silicon metallic silicon real silicon where how do they get this it's actually from a factory that bring all this uh the the white one okay the this is one of rocks granite rocks or um you put it in the cave they got this rock and then they melt it it's actually silicon oxide it depends how many oxygen with silicon in terms of ratio si o3 no for etc okay it depends how many oxygen react with this uh, silicon what it does is uh, the extraction through extraction they were able to melt it very high temperature melt it and then it form into only silicon they react the oxygen with the carbon and form the carbon dioxide and they get silicon metallic silicon but it looks it should be conductive in room temperature but when you test on the dmm it turns out that silicon do not conduct electricity by some form yeah it do not conduct electricity oh this end perhaps the surface coated with oxygen that's why it is non-conductive maybe certain edges is exposed and it's not being a uh, react with oxygen that's why you have that beep sound but overall metallic silicon they do not conduct electricity at room temperature well if you heat it up perhaps it will conduct Shining surface, very shining surface, look like gems, but it do not conduct electricity. And this is what it meant by silicon. What's the purpose? This is a raw material. This is a product. This is also another product. So what's the product for silicon? Is it a rock? Do you mean a rock? No. One of the precious product is called silicon wafer. What I have here is a piece of raw material, silicon wafer. They're going to make this um, silicon wafer to make it into chips, computer chips on the surface. This is two inch silicon. They differentiate it by a cut. I mean, this end cut, it's, it depends the type of it. This is one zero zero direction. Okay, one side polish, another side it's actually not polished. This is actually adhesive to stick it onto this petri dish. Okay, now this is the product of it. It will make into silicon wafer once they melt this metallic silicon and then form into a cylinder and then they cut it into a piece of silicon wafer now you may also look through my youtube channel i made a video to actually measure the thickness the thickness of silicon wafer okay the thickness of this silicon wafer it's very thin so I can't measure using a ruler so I put it into an electron microscope and uh, to find out what's the thickness okay um, that's all from me I appreciate your thumbs up button subscribe to my channel for more upcoming video thank you